Hello everybody. We have come again with another wonderful movie titled The Masked Lady. We have received a lot of testimonies from different people across the globe telling us a lot of things that God has done in their lives when they watch our movies and we give God all the praise. I believe that you cannot watch this movie, The Masked Lady, without being blessed. But one thing I want you to do for me, please subscribe to Ogongo TV, share and like. Because when you do this, you are helping us to make people get blessed the more as they will see this movie more often because the YouTube will recommend it for more people to see. I believe that you believe in us, as I believe in you that we can work together to make people get more blessed with these movies. As you sit tight to watch this movie, I pray that God will bless you mightily. Thank you. me out and I became desperate to settle down. Yes, look at Femi. See Femi. Femi is now in UK with his son and wife. This is your holier than thou attitude made you lose him. But now see you. Look at your life. When you are not getting younger, see now you are not getting younger. Maybe I need to remind you. Next month you will be 30. Just to prove to her that I don't have bad luck. And eventually, I got it wrong. My Yowa appeared as an angel. Whereas, Freshened up. Hey, what's the matter? You're not looking bright. I'm not happy. I actually came for us to talk. What happened? 
happened? What happened? Is it about the pregnancy? That's one of the reasons. So let's talk. Okay, we can talk. If you choose to leave the pregnancy, that's okay with me. I can even take care of the bills. So what's it about? I'm ready for that. I can't keep it. Because I'm not ready to leave my marriage. Oh. Good, fine. So terminate it. If you need me to take care of the bills, I'll do that. The money is not the problem. But there's something else oh. that bothers me. Oh. Are you willing to share that? Why not? It's about Daniela. What happened to her? Hey. Is she pregnant? How do you know she's pregnant? Is there something you need to tell me? Alex told me she's one of the big girls on the, on the campus. And um, you know all those girls, they patronize nightclubs. Actually, they are strippers. And you know, these politicians give them big money and end up taking them to bed. Jesus Christ. Daniela did what? Ah! Ah! Oh my baby, my Hey! Huh? Hmm. Look, look. Mm. Calm down. Calm down, okay? I thought you were already aware of this. I thought you, you knew. But how did your son get to know about this? I hope he's not the one who introduced that to it. I don't really think so. Alex wouldn't have told me if he was involved in the first place. You know, Alex is a DJ. And I believe they must have met at the nightclub. Oh. No wonder I saw a mask inside that wardrobe. But she told me she's into acting in school, and I believed her. But you too, you are not doing well. You kept this from me all along. You never told no, me. No, 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 no. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't shift the blame on me. I thought you were already aware. Who knows? He might have even been a chief of the old block. What did you just say? You know how long you chased after me. I'm not cheap. I, I, I didn't say. I didn't say you're cheap, but imagine whatever you have done for me, you could have done it for all other men. Aren't we here now? So you don't trust me? It's not about trust. But you know I did all that because I love you. Love? Is it all about love? Please, let's cut all this. Let's talk about her pregnancy. What's your decision? You actually hurt me with your words. That's the truth. Okay, if it's about that, I'm sorry. But please cut this whole affair. Let's talk the, the real matter. What's she doing? Is she getting rid of the preg pregnancy? She does not even know who's responsible. Oh, I thought Emanuela was a sharp girl. I thought sharp, sharp girls on campus are always very smart. She told me she was drunk when it happened. I couldn't recognize the man that got her pregnant. She said it happened, yeah, two months ago. In Jan Wait, wait, wait. Two months ago? Yes. J and K hotels downtown? Yes. Ha! Huh.
thinking about? Does Daniela have a mark on the right side of her stomach? I was at J and K hotels two months ago. Don't tell me you. How was I supposed to know? I, I, she was wearing a mask and I was drunk. Can't you recognize her even with the mask? Ah, Matthew, you have ruined my life. Oh God! Oh my God! Ah! Ah. 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 Calm down. Let's deal with this matter like two, two adults. Where is she now? Can she get rid of the pregnancy? Is your husband aware of it? No, my husband is aware and then she'll be locating abroad to have the child. That settles it, I guess. There shouldn't be any cause for alarm. Once she is keeping it, then you have to get rid of yours. It's not just proper, it's not right to have a child whose biological father is also the grandfather to your own son. Don't you get it? Why did I even give my heart to you in the first place? I'm finished! Look, I have a friend. He's a good gynecologist. You're going to have to see him. He will clean up this mess. Since your husband is not around now, I think today or tomorrow will do. He will just clean up this mess. Good. I'll send you the details. I'll also send a car to pick you up and drop you. You know, it's not safe for you to drive. And um, we have to protect your identity too. I'll be expressing your message. Thanks so much for ruining my life. Oh my God, we taught you. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Body. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Um, how did it go? I've been calling her. She's not picking up. Sir, you shouldn't have forced her down here. She was smoothie all through. Mm, I didn't force her. She's only acting hard on herself. So how did it go? It wasn't as easy as I thought. Do man has an underlying edge condition, and I was not informed. I was not informed of any underlying health condition. Sir, to be sincere, there was a little complication, but I won't do that. She left about an hour ago. But I hope there won't be any problem, Doctor. As long as she follows the instruction I gave to her, there won't be any problem, sir. Sir, let me talk to you later. I have a lot of things to do now. All right, thank you, buddy. Thanks for always being there. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. But how could such a godly looking girl subject herself to that dismatious slave? And he's suffering them STDs like 
Like free gift. <sighs> Anyways, every adult has a right to live his or her life the way he or she wants it. <sighs> Cynthia! Mayowa, hello. Hello, good afternoon, mommy. Good afternoon. What is wrong with you people? I've been calling your wife's number. She did not pick my call. Now I'm standing in front of your gate. Everywhere is locked. What is the problem? What are you people hiding from me? I told you to see me since last month. None of you showed up. <laughs> mommy, uh, I'm sorry. I'm at work. And my wife said that um, she will be going out to catch up with an appointment. <laughs> and I was at your wife's place too. They told me she has resigned. And you people did not inform me. Now what is going on? What is wrong with you? What are you hiding? Are you hiding something from me? <laughs> Mommy, we are so sorry about that. Uh, actually, I've been so busy lately. Um, but I promise, Mommy, I promise to visit you this weekend by God's grace. And my wife. Maybe her phone is in silent mode. But she will call you back as soon as she sees that she has missed your call. And mommy, please, I will send you... Something very small. I will send it to your bank account. Please, manage it for well, mommy. Please. Come on, go, come on. Leave me alone, Joe. Did I, did I tell you? I, I'm here with my car. I did not come with car. You need to see how I'm sweating like he goat. Under this hot sun. Don't come and bribe me with money. Oh. Tell your wife to call me immediately. Is that clear? And you people need to see me, oh. Because I want to take you and your wife to my prophet. Eh? We need to do something about this, your, your, your inability to, 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 to get children. I need prayers. I think that about John Doyle, Keresi. It's okay, mommy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I'm your mother. Call me, yo. Tell her to call me immediately. And you people should come and see me, yo. All right. Bye. I'm going to go to the house. For a month now, she has been avoiding me. How uh -uh. could she resign without, without telling me? Ah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! This house! Ah! Woo! Yeah! 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 Ah! What have I done to myself? Ah! Woo! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. Ah. 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 Yeah. I need to call daddy. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah
Keju will not stay at home with his family. He will travel all over the world, like, like, like Ajala travels. I have not seen my husband since yesterday. This nonsense has to stop. It has to stop. It can't continue like this. Ah, there. I am so sorry my phone went off after making several calls. And that was why I quickly sent you a test so that you know my whereabouts. I'm sorry. Yeah, you look exhausted. You must have stayed awake all night. But you are not happy. What happened? How is she? <sighs> what? We lost her. Jesus Christ. My God. But, but I saw her on Monday. She was not looking sick. Oh my goodness. Mama <sighs> Daniela was such a wonderful woman. Kind-hearted and humble. Jesus, me are so rest in perfect peace. But then, what really happened to her? Well, um, she bled so much before she called me. In fact, she fainted two times before getting to the hospital. Was it an accident? Maybe she has miscarriage again. No. She... She had abortion. Jesus Christ. About, about what? A worker in the church. Ah, my dear, she killed herself. Hmm. My dear, please, um, we are not in position to judge anyone. I'm not judging her. But abortion, I should, abortion should not be had among believers. Not even her. Anyway. Um, she confessed her sins before she died. We should just be praying that God should accept our soul. It is well, Lou. Maybe she received second chance, but I did not expect that from her. People are really different from how they appear. Oh, Jesus. Well, um, her husband has traveled abroad. Um, but Daniela came this morning. In fact, all the relatives that um, I put a call through, in fact, all the relative members that I called, none of them appeared. Did, did you inform other ministers? Producer and his wife was there with me throughout the night. Okay. 
Thank God you brought lunch for me yesterday. I took water in the night. But only water. Only you have changed. The way you run around for church members is becoming so much and it's affecting us. You know you were not like this before. <laughs> Even sometimes they will need your attention. You need to send young ministers to them instead of you showing up all the time. <laughs> See? Imagine. You now have to stress yourself all night for someone that killed herself. Yeah, just listen to yourself. Why, why are you like this? Why do you talk this way? I don't need this right now. Have I said anything too much? Eh? I'm only expressing how I feel. You were not like this before. Eh? This nonsense has to stop. Now we are no more going to shift Mrs. Jaya's birthday party again because someone died. And last year, that woman gave us 1.2. And I know you will not give us nothing less than 2 million. You have to change, oh, and all these things have to stop. My Father and my Lord, I am sorry for neglecting the people you committed into my hands. Mrs. Akeju should not have died. If I had created time to mentor her. She said she had wanted to stop committing adultery, but she didn't know how to overcome the hunch. How come all this are happening under my nose? All these are happening under my watch, and I could not even discern it. Lord, have mercy on me. What made Apostle Peter to discern the lies of Ananias? Can also what made Apostle Paul to discern the lies of Ananias can also reveal the secret lives of the members to me. But I am too busy. I am too busy looking for more followers. More followers and fame rather than building the church members in my care. Have mercy. No wonder many of them are wearing masks. No wonder. I have failed. I have failed you, Lord. I have failed my people. I failed my generation. I failed. Please, God, have mercy on me. I am ready to right my wrongs. I am ready to make things right. I am ready, Lord. I am ready, Lord. Have mercy. Give me the grace to mend my wrongs. Give me the opportunity to correct my wrongs. Lord, 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 Lord. I'm so sorry. <sighs> so, I've, I've never seen my mom again. None of her boyfriend was there with her when she took her last breath. <laughs> what, what is the essence of having a relationship where you need someone and they are not there for you? <sighs> he laid her life for me. I never knew the King Matthew was the man that impregnated me. <sighs> Lord, I 
have mercy on me. Don't, don't let me end like my mother. Please take me back as your daughter. Jesus, have mercy. <laughs> Tell him I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> Scattered like a sheep without shepherd, wolves among the flock. No, not one is paired. Arise, shepherd, guard your heart and guide the flock. Purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ, rise to the task. Arise, shepherd. Guard your hearts and guide the flock Purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ Rise to the task See the people scattered Like a sheep without shepherd Wolves among, Wolves among the, the flock. flock No, not one yeah. is fair This is there I am Fala My Yowa is not around. He traveled since yesterday and will only be back late. Okay. Yeah, he told me we'll be traveling and that's why I'm here. Okay, I hope there's no problem. I'm here to talk to you, sis. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm sorry for contributing to your trauma all this well. I don't get. Can you make it more clearer? I mean for covering up my OASIF heart. If I've not been available to give you medical care anytime he eats you, he must have learned his lesson and hard way. I'm so sorry for not defending you and for not exposing my OASIF to the world. A wife bitter is not better than a murderer. Well, I don't see things the way you do. You are not the one who tells my what to treat me at the slightest provocation. You only come here to give me medical attention, and just to save me from washing my dirty linen outside. That is why he has not changed. He knows that I will be available anytime he eats you. I think you need to get him arrested when he beats you again. But why are you telling me? I don't know your thoughts, and it's, it's not close to your thoughts. Well, I'm not dating him, and he's not owing me any money. <sighs> I lost a friend to domestic violence last week, and her death has brought back my senses. It is high time we start exposing animal in men clothing. I said it. I knew something caused this thing. It's fine. I appreciate your concern. I don't think I have any plans of reporting my husband to the authorities. <laughs> Why? Don't tell me you are staying in an abusive marriage in the name of love. Okay. Before the end of this year, I will be relocating to Canada and I won't be available to attend to you when he eats you up. Your life is important here. I'm not enduring my worst excuses for the sake of me. <sighs> I love him, but I can find love out there. I'm only enduring his terrible attitude because of I want to secure people's respect. Especially the church members, families, friends. You know these days, people tend to disrespect ladies facing issues in their marriages. And I don't want that for myself. Sis. You are right, but your life is important here. I would have exposed them, 
But I'll be dragged along. Hey, <laughs> Africa, where we stigmatize people going through life challenges, especially marriage. See, it is better for me to just walk out than to get in my business. I can understand you. But exposing him to the authority will also curb other people like him out there. I appreciate your visit. And um, it really means a lot to me. I will do the right thing without considering what people are saying. Please do. Your life is most important here. Hey, yeah, yeah. So, how are you feeling now? I'm very good, sir. Are you sure you did not take a caution pill? It is nothing close to that, sir. My mom's death changed many things about me. She went through a lot for I and my siblings. And it won't be nice of me not to make her proud. You're correct. I didn't take the abortion pill, sir. It was a miscarriage. That means you are saying that it did not cause without you taking any drug. Yes, sir. Um, that means that God knows about it. It happens for a good reason. You see? You see, um, this is the time that you should give your all to God because God loves you. I'm very glad that you came out for what I call Sunday. I have a great peace in my mind since then. I realized I just started living. A life without God is not worth living, sir. You're very correct. What is your dad and your siblings? Well, my dad has relocated to abroad already. And he will be getting married to his girlfriend in South Africa this Saturday. Really? It's not even up to four months your mom died. He never loved her, sir. My mom got to his trap through premarital sex and love of money. He was forced to marry my mom because my mom's parents didn't want her to have me out of wedlock. That is the mistake of many parents. Huh. Parental mistake would be very dangerous. I need your help, sir. I want to recover from sexual addiction before relocating abroad. The first process is self discovery. I'm happy that you have discovered yourself and you know that you need help because it is difficult. To help someone who does not realize that he needs help. I've been strictly observing my quiet time, but sometimes I still think about sex. So. I want you to put your mind under control. Because that is the courtroom where all life's decisions are made. You see, mind renewal comes. When you allow the Holy Spirit to take over your mind. And it begins to change your actions and desires to match His. And that is why the book of Romans says that for as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. But sir, uh, how can I receive the Holy Spirit? Oh, it's very simple. All you need to do is invite him into your life. And he will come. He will come and stay there. It is your decision that will make him reside in your life and heart. I will also introduce you to a therapist who could um, help manage you psychologically. But the most important thing is what God Thanks so much, sir. I'm ready to receive the Holy Spirit. Oh, glory be to God. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, Father. please, please let our men. Yes. 
Almighty God, I commit your daughter into your hands and pray. Arise above, God, your heart, and guide the flock, purchased by the blood Amen. of Jesus Christ. Rise to the task. Arise above, God, your heart, and guide the flock, purchased by the blood of Jesus Sarah. Good, good evening, sir. Wow. Whoa. I will be an hypocrite to ask if all is well with you. You don't look good at all. Good evening, sir. Mosso, I've been trying your number severally. I couldn't reach you. I'm sorry. I actually bad your number. Haba. Whoa. Okay, hold on. You know, come, 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 come. Let me just park. Let me park. Let me park. Come, come, come. Let's talk. Um, sir, do you by any chance know a lady by the name Florence around here? I'm actually heading to her house. She's a makeup artist. No, I don't know anyone around here with such a thing. She, she actually asked me to call her when I get there, but the street urchins stole my phone. So. Ah, wow, hope they didn't hurt you so bad. <laughs> no, this is the handle call for Mayor. Oh, wow. I knew it all along. I knew it all along. If you really care about someone, you will want to know everything that has to do with that person. You tried keeping everything to yourself, but there were some loopholes. I would have come in, but you didn't trust me enough to share these things with me. Well, Sarah, enough of all this um, roadside talk. Come in and um, call the person with my phone. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Uh, she just changed her line and I don't know a number by heart. Okay, not a problem. For every problem, there must always be a solution. Don't worry, just come into the car. We'll find our way around it. Definitely. Just come in. Sarah, is it okay I take you to a guest house where you can just stay for a few days to just clear your head? I feel strongly that it's not safe um, hosting you in my place. How do you know what I need right now? <sighs> Thank you so much, sir. You are so precious to me. You don't need to ask before I know what to do for you part time. It is painful I met you in this way. Uh, do you just say that? Of course. I wish I met you earlier. <laughs> Sarah, nothing is lit in the agenda of God. You cut me out of your life even without inquiring from God the purpose why we met. I know you never believed everything that I told you. You were in my shoes. You won't. I can't engage in extramarital affair even though you're a good man. It's not just right. Wait, 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 wait. Don't get me wrong. I'm not in this for any form of unrighteous relationship with you. I want to marry you and that is it. Yes. How is that possible? Have you forgotten I'm married? Oh! <laughs> Are you legally married to him? How do you mean? Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. But I'm very happy you took that bold step of leaving that man's house. A lot is not right with that man. A whole lot. Do you know him to that extent? Well, just try and see a psychologist or a therapist so that your healing process is faster. It's very necessary. I already booked an appointment. I'll be going to one of my cousins. Well, just ensure you pray and seek God's face for the next steps you may want to take. I'll drop one of my phones with you so that in case you want to reach out to me or anyone, you can use that easily. Well, not a problem. I will buy you a new phone tomorrow and I'll bring that to you. And uh, at least with that, you should be okay and fine. Please use this.
I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I come naked in other shades. For you know me inside. I don't have anything to say. I really do not have anything to say. Did he tell you how he always ties me up like an animal anytime he wants to make love to me? Yeah. And when I refuse to be tied, he will beat me till I become weak. And then after he's done, he will not start begging me not to leave him. <laughs> Did he also tell you how he hoders me around like a slave? And when I refuse to be trampled upon, he will beat me up. Did he tell you all that? Do you know that he also made me leave my job and lost two pregnancies? Two pregnancies. <laughs> he told me everything and even many more. I'm sorry for everything. I knew what I was doing was wrong. I tried to stop, but I couldn't. And I was afraid to share my personal struggles with people to avoid being judged. So you chose to torture an innocent woman. You touch her and you don't stay to her with a good eye just because you want to cover up your mouth. Abi, <laughs> you're not a man, no? Oh. If they are calling man, don't even put your face at top because you are not one. You are just a boy. You are just a boy who chose to torture an innocent woman instead of taking up his responsibility. Ah! Because of me. My ordeal started 20 years ago. On my first wedding night. I was 28 then. Wait. So, you were married before? And then you lied to me that you were single when we met? Wait, 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 wait. wait. You said you were 40. Whereas, you are. <laughs> You're in your late 40s. Jesus Christ. I said this when you brought this thing home that you want to marry him. I said this man is old. He looks older than his age. But you will not listen to me. You will not listen, Sarah. Mommy, please stop it. Stop it. You contributed to all this. You used to tell me to go for cleansing. That I had bad luck. You even said your prophet told me that Mama Wai is the right man for me. So what's all this? Sister Sarah, you don't have to talk to mommy in that manner. She did what she felt was best at that time. And uh, if you were in her shoes, uh, you could do worse than that. Da Daddy, Daddy, I won't do it. I won't act the way she acted. I don't know why my mom hates me. She's always comparing me to my sisters. She's always doing that. She compares me to my sisters every time. I stopped enjoying parental care when I lost my father. How come you never treated my siblings the same way? You know you always like that because you are older. So how come you never trained my siblings like that? Now see what you've caused. Look at my eye. See now, she be you know the stress I've been going with this eye. You know the stress I've been going through with this eye because of this man here. Um, it is well. It is well, ma'am. Uh, Sister Sarah, please say things with me. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Mr. Imayowa, say what you want to say. I have other things to do. Something happened. Sleep. I'm sleepy already. Oh. My love. Let me take that as a joke. 
Please undress. Let's have a nice time. I'm not joking. I'm tired. My head hurts. Don't worry. It's going to be a very soft touch. Let's do this tomorrow. I'm so exhausted. Don't do this. During our courtship, you kept saying, let's wait till our wedding night. No smooching, no touching, no kissing. I endured that for four years. And now it's our wedding night and you are, you are acting funny. Please don't get me angry. Oh my God. But you have to remove everything yourself. I'm not tired to do anything. Should you even be wearing anything in the first place? <laughs> don't tell me you are shy on your wedding night. <laughs> But eventually, you do not learn anything. You only became a monster. Sarah, life has been very unfair to me since then. After my jail term, I relocated to Enugu. I became afraid to touch a woman. The lady I was dating then pressured me so much to sleep with her. She told everybody who cared to listen that I was important. I shared my fears with a friend and he proffered a solution. <sighs> a harmful solution and misinformation. He told me to tie her up before making love to her. That that would prevent her from falling off the bed. I explained to her and she agreed. She was somewhat understanding. So I took her to my parents for marriage, only for her to leave me after the wedding invitation cards had been printed. Hey. Mm -hmm. Me mm -hmm. this side life, things are really happening. Mommy, I have really faced a lot. I ate women for a while and I began to treat them anyhow. Any relative that resisted being tied up would be beaten and then I would sleep with her. Ah. Came to a time that no lady could arouse me unless I hit her so hard that she had become helpless. Hey! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Ah, no, 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 no. no. That is not normal. No, it's not. You're right, ma. It is called SSD. What is SSD? <laughs> the exact question I wanted to ask. SSD is called Sexual Sadism Disorder. Meaning? What meaning is that? I don't think I've ever heard of such in my life. Well, it simply means infliction of physical and uh, psychological suffering. Like um, um, terror or beatings or attack or abuse on another person just to stimulate sexual excitement. That must be a mental disorder. Yeah. It is paraphilia. A psychosexual disorder. Black barrel. Please, does it have a cure? Yes, it does. The treatment involves psychotherapy, and uh, medications. Daddy, I remembered something. I just got the interpretation of the dream you had that year when I was dating him. Oh. I remember. I saw him as a madman in my dream. And I remember I called him. But uh, he did not open up unto me. I was afraid to open up. I also tried to cut Sarah off from you 
So you won't stop her from marrying you, sir? No. Uh-uh. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. What a lie. Brother, <sighs> my wife is already on therapy. And I believe that it will overcome it completely. I didn't know God led me to your church for liberation. Thank you for all you are doing for me, sir. God bless you, my dear. Please, quickly talk about the last point before we go. I have other things to attend to. What other point? Please, if it's to go back with this man, I cannot. Oh. Mm. I've already said I'm going to live my life without any man. Mm, because he has hurt her. He hurt her so much. Thank God they have not even paid her bread price. So they should, go, they, should, they should just go on their separate way. Since they don't even understand themselves. He hasn't paid a bride price. Sister Sarah, but you told me that you had your traditional wedding in your hometown. And you both came to my office for blessings. Did you lie to me? They refused to represent my late father and pick a date for my traditional wedding. But when I begged them, they, they, they asked for the documents, the land documents, and when I refused, they did not show up for my introductory ceremony. Is that why you asked me to bless a wedding that you have not done? I felt something was wrong that day. I was forced to pray for you. I'm sorry, Daddy. My father's family are not willing to back down anytime soon. They are not willing to back down anytime soon. And I had to move in with Mayowa because it is wrong to hire a stranger to represent my father. You see, it is also wrong for you to lie to everybody that you are married when you are not. No wonder you informed me late. You said that uh, uh, it's majorly for your family members uh, and uh, some of your friends because your mother's uh, prophet instructed that uh, people should not be many. Mm, she did not lie. She did not lie about that. My prophet actually said it should be a private wedding. That you shouldn't invite too many people. You should not invite uh, strangers. But I am not a stranger to her. Bromayowa, did you visit the registry? I'm yeah, sorry, Pastor. Did not go to the registry. Ha! This is unbelievable. There are other things he told me. But I want him to explain to you by himself. Romayowa, please be calm. Sarah, please forgive me. I have really caused you so much pain. I have forgiven you. But we cannot get back together. Getting back with you will make my life a living hell, a nightmare. Besides, I've relocated to Abuja and I've um, put in my applications for my master's program. So, I cannot get back together. It's not really about that. After BC died, I remarried. What? Six years ago, I remarried. And eight months after our wedding, she traveled out 
for a course. When she completed the course, she did not come back. Does, does that mean she remarried the over there? No. She, she asked me to come over. She said she didn't want to raise her kids here. But I declined. And I decided to move on with my with my life without her. That is why I, I didn't want I didn't want to tell you about my family. I didn't want you to know that you were my third wife. Although she knows about our marriage. I have so far in this life. She had a problem with her stay. And she had to come back home. When she arrived, she called me. And I couldn't resist. I had to go meet her. <laughs> uh -huh. When am I meeting my rival? I bought things for her. I have told you to move on. There's no rival anywhere. Hmm. Sarah is my only one. She's not your rival. Hmm. You know you are very, very funny. Huh? You asked me to move on without doing that legally. Oh, I know you are acting. You can't do without me. Huh? <laughs> I am your legal wife, not her. I mean it. I mean it. I didn't plan for two wives. Hey, it doesn't matter. I didn't plan returning to Nigeria anyways. But when that is the only option, I have no choice than to grab it. Don't worry. I won't be coming to your rented apartment anyways. I already built a house in her name. And I will be going there from here. And if you don't mind, you can catch your Sarah to move in with us. But why are you saying all this? Because I see nothing wrong in polygamy. Ah. <laughs> you know, I can't even imagine myself getting married to another man. You are the only man that so much understands me. Huh? You can't be serious. Look, I am very, very serious. And I have missed you. Come here. Let me feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up. Stand up. Stand up now. I couldn't resist her. I, I tied her up with belts. And... We had something together. Ever since then, I've not been able to say no to our sexual advances. Those times I told you I traveled. I was actually with her. So you mean you're back with your legal wife, right? She gave birth to my child last month. After making me lose two pregnancies, my Yawa, my God will judge you. God will judge you. My, my sister, it's okay. Please, I'm sorry. Do not be too hard on yourself. So we need the wisdom of God to settle this matter. He should go back to his wife. I am done with him. Please, calm down. Calm down. Don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Allow God to speak to you. Okay? I'll fix another meeting with you. But permit God to talk to you. Just work with you. Let us pray. Father and Jesus. I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I come naked and other shaped For you know me inside and out, Master I come just as I am, save me from myself I can't hide behind the mind I come naked. 
go. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, Deacon. I've been waiting for your call. Did you get the place? Yes, sir. I am on the road now. But I'm at a T junction and I don't know where to turn to or whether to just move. Okay. Fine. Just turn to your left side and then continue to go straight down until you get to right building fenced upstairs. Ask for brother Franklin. Tell him that you want to gain access to the prayer ground. It will, it will guide you. Please, I, I don't want you to be discouraged. You may not find anybody on the prayer ground, but pray to God on that ground. God bless you. I believe that God will hear your prayers in Jesus' name. Oh, oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be there. I have lost my peace since the day I led Titi to her untimely death by my actions. I have confessed my sins to my pastor. He has prayed for my forgiveness, but the weight of my sin will not allow me to have peace. I pray to you, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me from adultery. Deliver me from the appeal of women other than my wife, I ask of you because I know, I know my weakness. Sometimes I still feel the old self pulling me towards ad adultery. Forgive me. Take away adultery from my life. Forgive my sins. Forgive me for the death of Titi. Forgive me for adultery with many women. For the, I will serve you for the rest of my life if only you can give peace to my mind. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I come back repenting of my sins unto you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus.
I can't really see for now, uh, but um, the doctor said it will be fine. What about your mom? Uh, she went out not long to get some things. This is huh? It was very little before we heard about it. Um, I, I understand, sir. And we've been praying since then. I believe that God will lay his hand upon it. Mm. It's going to be fine. Amen. Take care. Amen. Okay, um, can I see the doctor? She's attending to him. She will soon be out. You can have your seat, ma'am. You can have your seat, sir. It is well. Well, eh? It is well. Jesus. Thank you. Who are you, me? You are thinking about Matthew. Yes, Papa. Hmm. You are surprised I know what you are thinking about. Yes, I am surprised. If I had known that uh, it's going to be like this, I would not have advised him to visit the playing ground. <laughs> you didn't make any mistake. Mm -hmm. Is in search of his peace of mind. Then he came to you for direction. I contributed to his pains. Hmm. I would have advised him to pray in the church, or better still, we pray together. Hmm. Don't get it wrong. Hmm. Uh, the prayer ground trip doesn't have anything to do with his present condition. You should know that I don't do anything without a reason. I know. But I'm afraid, Father. The doctor said he may not be able to use his eyes again. Yeah, they are right. They are right. Yeah, Matthew will be fine. But his eyes has left him. I caused it. Baba, do something about it. I know you can bring his eyes back. Please help Matthew. Because mm. this is enough to completely take him out of faith. He can't go out of faith. Yeah, because right now, I am showing him reasons for the loss of his eyes. See, mm. I did everything to protect his soul from eternal damnation. Father, I'm confused. How can the lust of his eyes save him from eternal damnation? Matthew is emotionally weak. And I love him a lot. I always forgive him any time he sins and has for forgiveness of sin. I know you are a loving father to us. And you do not want any of your children to perish. You are right, my son. But many of you are always taking my, my love for granted. Matthew is one of the disobedient. I tried speaking to him, but he didn't listen. <clears throat> he allowed that conspirator to take charge of his eyes and mind. Dickin once told me that he found it difficult to take his eyes out of beautiful women. He can always stay in his eyes, but he will not do it. I saw a great destruction ahead of him. I was trying to talk to him about it, but he could not hear. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew, I, I want to speak to you now. Matthew. 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 I, I, I need to speak to you now. Oh. 
What is wrong with your car? I, 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 I just, I, I need your attention for a moment. Matthew, Matthew, I want to talk to you. M Matthew, 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 I need to speak with you now. Matthew, I need your attention. Matthew, nothing is wrong with your car. I, 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 I need your attention. Matthew, Matthew, I need your attention. Nothing wrong with your car. Nothing wrong with your car. I, I, I told you. I just, I need your. I, I need your attention. Oh. not hear you. you should have concentrated and, and then uh, uh, listen to you not to give himself to lust and pleasure instead of living his life for me but my love for him still stands oh, thank you hmm. thank you father this is what could have happened to him if i did not hold him down by force You won't believe that stupid man come at you as won that contract again. Bring her. That guy is not stupid. That guy is smarter than us. What are you saying? Has he hypnotized you or what? You are praising the man who made us to lose the contract we spent so much to obtain. Bring her. I am not praising this man. This guy is not stupid. If he was as stupid as you think, he would have lost the contract to us. But he won it. But you know what? I will outsmart the guy. Okay? If he's not stupid, then he's mad. What are you saying, guy? See, fine. You can call this guy any name you want to call him. But that doesn't bring back the contract to us. So instead of us sitting here arguing on what is not, let us re-strategize and see how things can work out for us. What do you have in mind? Okay. Good question. I've been following the guy for some time now. And um, I think I got a loophole to get to him. Tell me something. What's the loophole? Guy, I don't talk too much in the public space. Remy, you know we're into this together. Guy, let us leave this place. I will, I will taste you later. You must tell me. <laughs> My guy, they beg. You see, take it or leave it. I'm smarter than you do. <laughs> let us go. You are not serious. <laughs> so, Alpha, has he called you? Yeah, uh, he called me about 10 minutes ago. And I told him I'm on my way. That means it's already waiting for you. Uh, are you sure there won't be any problem? Come on, there's no problem now. See, you just have to lose your consciousness for like 10 minutes or thereabouts to get the guy distracted. Then we call me to pick our files. That's I'm all. afraid though. Babe, Come you on. don't need to be afraid. It's just, it's not that difficult. Abi, so how far did you receive 400,000 I transferred to you yesterday? Yeah, I received this yesterday. Fine, see. You have balance of 100,000 around ground as far as you do the job perfectly. Aside the bonuses you will get from that idiot. <laughs> oh, you are right. You see that man here? He is a generous man. He spends nothing less than 50k at really? a go. <laughs> anyway, that is by the way. Let's get to business. Guy, my bag. Uh, I'm afraid of rejection. Big game. Come on. Mm.
Right. Don't worry. Please, please, gently. It is not painful. Come on, you're a big girl. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what is, what is? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm done now. Oh. We can go. All right. I'm counting on you. Don't fuck off. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Remember on red clean balance? Guy, oh. what are you thinking about? Shama won't say. I can't wait to see the end of that idiot. Same here. Who call himself Matthew? <laughs> but I'm confused. About what? We don't have any fight with him. And you told me that we are coming here for a fight. <laughs> Bengulu, wait. So, what did you expect me to tell her? <laughs> see, I always tell you, I'm smarter than you. Hmm? Oh, worry. Nah. The guy don't go down. <laughs> Let's face. <laughs> Matthew could have been executed for committing murder if I did not allow his eyes to leave him. Ah. No medical care or procedure can bring back his eyes. You are a great father, sir. You are a great father. I know that you can never make mistake. He keeps enjoying adultery until it becomes an habit. Any terrible habit that a man refuses to change will lead to his destruction. You are right. See, stop brooding about what happened to him. It will be fine. I have appointed him as one of the end time generals. Yes. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Open the door. You slept off already. Uh -uh. You slept off. with his ex-wife. Why don't you want to give it an answer to my proposal? It, it can't just work between us. Let's forget about getting married. Sarah, you know I genuinely love you. Why are you torturing me with your love? You don't get it. You know I love you. So why are you talking like this? Then why are you not giving a positive yes to my team? I'm a broken woman. And I don't deserve someone like you. Your patience made me lose you and I have accepted my faith. I can only be good friends with you. I can be your wife. Sarah, I was once a broken young man. But the supernatural power of God changed my life entirely. And that made me so attractive in your eyes. Why don't you give that same power of God a chance so it can change you? Guess what? I've committed a lot of atrocities in the recent past. Yes. Gambling. Yes. Playing to us. And even patronizing red zones. Quite recently. <laughs> Seriously. But the power of God changed me totally. And that made me a perfect gift for you. With all the miscarriages I've had, what if I can't give back? 
Sarah, why are you being so pessimistic? Why? I'm not getting married so that you can give birth to children alone. The very first purpose of marriage is companionship. And that is what I want from you. While the secondary purpose is giving birth to children, companionship is what I want from you, Sarah. Do you really mean all you just said? Yes, I mean every single thing with the whole of my heart. Even though my heart receives you, I can't give you an answer. So I've spoken to my pastor about you. Well, you can take all the time to speak with the pastor. Trust me, I will wait. But I will eat this food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I even told my husband that we must come to see you before we relocate. It was it's very necessary. Definitely. <laughs> we cannot miss the pastoral blessing. Of course. <laughs> ah, actually, uh, I knew that you would come. Um, anyway, uh, thanks so much for your contribution to the success of my child's Christian. <laughs> Daddy, we've not done anything. There's no way we'll forget all the prayers and counsel that you gave us. <laughs> Olani, don't mind that. You want me to miss my little pastor. Hey, what? Hey, no, 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 no. We must see. The child will be waiting for so many years. Ah. <laughs> I was not even surprised when I found out that Isaac was one of his names. In fact, he looks so much exactly like that. <laughs> that is replica. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways, um, Sister Sarah, thank you for being a blessing to me and the Church of God. You're such a great blessing to the world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Daddy. <laughs> um, my dear brother, you two, you are so wonderful. I cannot but continue to remember you. Oh, I am grateful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the compliments, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, I, 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 I appreciate God for letting our path cross on this heart. Because our coming together has you know, brought me closer to God and opened my eyes to the truth. Thank you. Well, I wish you well everywhere you go. Amen. You will shine. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus.
just as I am. Mo wa, mo wa la shawa we olodumare. Yeah.